everyone. It's Jess Hearts. Um, I'll get to the winner of my giveaway in a moment, but today we are building the burger place slash apartment from Bob's Burgers. But I really wanted to try my hand at some cats today and make the Belcher family. I don't think they look too awful, but they definitely look a bit odd, I guess. Anyway, I also, um, yeah, just don't ask me where I found Louise's bunny ears from. I found it a long time ago. I'm sure you'd be able to find it yourselves online, though. I think Linda looks pretty accurate, and so does Bob, as well as Tina, actually. I wish there was, like, more height variations, but I can understand how annoying it would be for the devs to incorporate, like, different actions for different heights. Actually, you know... I know there's a mod for that and it's actually pretty funny seeing it work because it's very glitchy but what else kind of bothers me is that like we don't have any options for people who have like dwarvism and we also just don't have any options for people who are different to what we consider average. Like where are the wheelchairs, the walking frames, walking sticks, people who have prosthetics? I think it would be an amazing move for Maxis to incorporate those things into the game. I know there is a streamer out there and she has a walking frame. I can't recall her name, but she's so lovely. And yeah, not everyone is the same. Maybe that's something we'll see more of in The Sims 5. But I know they have been branching out with different um, ethnicities and cultures, which is bloody fantastic. But I still think they've got a long way to go with including other people's way of life. Anyway, it's a little <laughs> long and serious tangent there. So anyway, it's been a week's time and the winner has been randomly selected. And the winner is Sarah Jo Simmer. Congratulations, girl. I'll be in contact with you very soon and we can organize your prize. Thank you so much to everyone who entered. I wish I could give you all a pack, but unfortunately only one person could win. So congratulations, Sarah Jo Simmer. Yes. So yeah. Oh yeah, this reminds me. Did you guys see Little Simsy raise 20k for a cancer foundation in the US? That was so hecking amazing. I'm so proud of her. And everyone that donated and raised the money. As someone whose family has been through the horrible circumstances of cancer... It's amazing seeing someone else, or someone, sorry, <laughs> raise money to find, uh, to fund research on the matter and just to help people with it. Just so much respect for them. Anyway, so here's a video. Um, we've got, oh, here's the video. Here's the build. Um, we're just doing the basic exterior now and getting the shell going. It was so, so difficult trying to pick the right colors for the exterior. There is no right, like, bright green color for the wallpaper and there's no bright yellow trim so I had to work with what I had there was also no good sign options like the yellow sign with the red writing but I do put a little grand re 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 opening flags underneath I did the best I could with you know what the sims team has given us and you know I wish I wish we had um creator style back oh my god that would have made it so much easier damn it <laughs> so oh yeah last time I was talking about how I had these really weird nightmares and I was talking about this just before I started recording. The other night I had another odd one where it was like this weird zombie apocalypse but it was like transferred through these kind of glass crystally thingies that would explode and like jab people and then it was so flippin' weird but oh boy did it make me on edge for the rest of the day. In my dream I also couldn't go outside because it become it had became so over the top that animals and humans were contaminated and I remember at one point these like little kids who were like wearing fur clothing and camo and it oh it was so weird <laughs> came up and stole a piece of meat from my dog's bowl and I was yelling at them through my window and I don't know why I have such odd dreams. I had some pretty creepy ones as well. So I think I'll have to talk to you um, guys about them all at some point. Maybe as a Halloween episode. But yeah. Anyway. So what are we doing now? Oh yeah. Just a little cubby house out the back of the um, build. Yes. I'll talk about that more soon. <laughs> it's interesting that one. I love this show um, by the way. It was so no like I got so nostalgic um, creating the characters from the show and it was, yeah, you guys should watch it. It's such a funny and unique show. I think my favorite characters are Louise or Linda. They just always make me laugh and I'm pretty sure Louise is just as my spirit animal. Like, I relate to her quite a lot. <laughs> I'm so glad I have those bunny ears for her because there's no real, like, close, 
um, comparison or ver- version in the game. And I don't use CC for builds, but I do for Kaz, obviously. Linda's hair is also CC. But I wouldn't have a clue where a lot of it's come from, so I'm sorry for that. I just don't go CC shopping for months due to me just not playing as a sim in The Sims 4. In the future, I will try and list them down below, though. I love the dry humour of the show. It reminds me a lot of my mum. <laughs> Her sense of humour is very akin to this show. Oh yeah, something else I wanted to talk about um, was how come we didn't get more animals for, you know, the pets expansion The Sims 4? I know this is old news, but I was thinking about buying The Sims 3 and I watched a review for it and man, there's so many pets in that pack. There's like reptiles, horses, deer, um, birds, and obviously cats and dogs, raccoons and everything like that. Like, I know we kind of got raccoons and foxes in The Sims 4, but honestly, I kind of just saw that as a little bit of a, eh. They just threw that in there. Uh, I know foxes and dogs can breed, but raccoons and cats, like, come on. They might have, like, the same mannerisms, but raccoons have hands, man. They got little fingers, not toe beans and claws. I don't know. I think they just threw those in there. Not to mention, like, the dumbness that is a hamster, mouse, weird, platypus, moose creature thing, (laughs) for one. Like, why is there just a heap... Of like different, the same object but different animals per object. And not just one cage and a couple different variations that look different. Like a smaller cage. And why can't you just buy the pet to go in one? I don't know why they laid it out like that, but you know, whatever. Kind of glad it's there, but obviously we all know what a controversy and a bit of a letdown the pet stuff pack was. Just a blatant cash grab in a way. But you know, I did succumb to buying it but only for the aquarium coffee table and those sofas everything else is kind of just there (laughs) I don't know a lot of it is just rehashes of what they already gave us in the pet stuff pack uh pets pack I don't know it would be great if like my first pet stuff gave us like horses um like hamsters as well birds reptiles and any other kinds of pets oh yeah speaking of horses though I was thinking about this the other day. I would um, go horse riding at my friend's house when I was a lot younger. And I, th- I think I was around seven, maybe. And I remember this one time we were both going horse riding. And, you know, at the beginning you let the horse smell you, which I did. And since it was her own horse, she didn't think to let it smell her. And, uh, yeah, she jumped on. And as soon as she did, it bucked us both off. And I hurt the heck out of my tailbone. And anybody who knows what that's like knows it's hell on earth. It's bloody painful. You can't sit down for like a solid week. Anyway, later on we tried again. We went for a trot. Then maybe half an hour later. Um, uh, yeah, it bucked us. Or it bucked her off. And I was so terrified. Because I was clinging on for dear life. Like I was already terrified. Obviously, little Jess had a long way to fall, man. But my helmet fell over my eyes, I couldn't see, and the horse was trying to buck me off, and it scared the absolute heck out of me. I haven't ridden a horse since, I totally would again, but I haven't had the chance. But dude, did it scare me. And that's my argument for why we need horses in The Sims 4. So I can see my friend and I get bucked off a horse again, so I can relive that great memory. (laughs) Actually, I got a lot of injuries um, being friends with her. (laughs) <laughs> we were playing tennis on the patio outside my house. Like we didn't have a tennis court. We were just hitting the ball back back and forth. And uh, we lost the ball. So we swapped the damn ball with a rock. And guess who got hit in the eyebrow? I needed three stitches and it was a traumatic experience. I don't blame her or whatever. Like we were dumb kids and we still talk, obviously. Like despite me moving across the country, but... Thankfully, you cannot tell it happened at all. I still have my eyebrow and my eye, thankfully. (laughs) Anyway, back to the video. We're down in the basement. And, uh, oh, now up the top again. Also, when I'm recording this, the frame, because I'm watching the video at the same time, the frame rate just dropped randomly. So hopefully this isn't out of sync. I hope it isn't. Ooh. Oh well, anyway, I loved how the restaurant turned out and I tried making this a few years back but I think I've definitely improved with building so it looks a lot better. I didn't like much know what to put out the back 
but I do put Jean, Tina, and Louisa's cubby house, as I said. If you watch Bob's Burgers, you'll know which episode that's from. I know it's not located behind the house, but in the alleyway near the house. I had so much fun building that and the whole house and that kitchen. How cute is that fridge with all the postcards on it? I love doing that. It just makes it look so wholesome. And I want to do that with my fridge because I just think it looks super cute. Um... Yeah, I think it's got a lot of character, I think. And it'll be easily turned into a functioning restaurant. You just need to put um, the chef stove in the kitchen and you also need to put the uh, change the lot type to restaurant. Oh yeah, this is kind of sucky, but if you watch my vids, you know I've been like looking for a place to live for, and this awesome offer came up. Um, but I replied a couple of days late and she'd already given away to somebody else and I nearly cried. It was such a letdown. But this morning I started talking to um, the owner of an apartment in the town I want to move to. And she liked me and she said she'd give me the lease as soon as I want. Like I don't have to go through all the checks or anything. But there's a downside. And you know how every town has that kind of dodgy street? Well, of course, this is on that street. And that's why it hasn't actually gone yet. So, yeah. And well, honestly, I don't really care, you know. I kind of just want to move out and have my own space. And, uh, yeah, the housing crisis in Australia is ridiculous. They did a study and there was legit zero affordable houses for people in my situation in any um, capital city all over Australia. So pretty much young people looking for somewhere to live, which is my situation. A lot of places available are like 330 a week, which I don't know about you, but that's so much damn money. You have to be earning quite a bit to be living comfortably with that rent. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys rent or you're still living with your parents. I moved out of home like maybe two or three years ago and it was great. I was sharing um, a house with three of my friends and it was good, but... We lived atop a monster of a hill, so that kind of sucked because I don't drive, but I ended up moving back home again. And don't get me wrong, I love my parents, but I'd rather, you know, do my own thing. Yeah, you know. Oh well. <laughs> um, oh yeah, just another tangent, as always. But we're in uh, Tina's room now, and as you can see, it's just very, very pink. I've added a heap of horses, because if you watch the show, you know she loves horses. I even put a little, like book with the pen there so she does her fanfic there or no what's it called her friendly or her creepy freaky fan fiction freaky friend fiction yeah I don't know and that band that she really loves I put a little shrine there with all the candles but yeah I thought that'd be good I can't remember what the band's called in that show anyway um sorry that the video is a little higgledy piggledy but you know it, it is how it is Oh yeah, I know I said I'd announce who won today on Twitter, but I figured it'd be nicer to announce it in a video and thank everyone who entered. I have never won a competition, I think. So it's kind of nice to give give someone the chance to win it. Well, once, like, but that was in primary school and we had to pick up rubbish to go into the, str the drawer. And if you picked up the most rubbish, you got to win an Easter bunny. So yeah, I won an Easter bunny. A uh, chocolate one, obviously. I don't go much on chocolate, but little Jess would have flipped. But yeah, once again, I'm sorry about how the video is so fast. But you know when you're building and you're doing like one room and you find a heap of stuff that would suit a different room? That's pretty much what happened. And then you kind of like spin around the house putting crap everywhere. Yeah, I do that a lot. But I'm trying hard to keep it in the one room at a time because I don't want people to get sick watching my videos. I also started building this huge mansion. And I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It might be a two-parter, I'm unsure. I see people like Kate Emerald with massive builds and she manages to make the video relatively short. And that is just crazy. I don't know how she does it. She's an amazing builder. If you haven't already heard of her, which I doubt you haven't, you totally should go check her out. She's also just a lovely person. She is so nice. She doesn't appear to go crazy, like, little details on the interior of the homes, like, uber cluttered madness, like I have a tendency of going into. In my opinion, her expertise is on the exterior of her homes. I always just get inspired by her videos. She is just amazing. And here we have Louise's room. You see, like, that weird little onion thingy above her bed well she actually has like a picture or a poster there of like a spring onion so I think I try to make it accurate and she has like a red a blue uh teddy bear atop her bookcase so I kind of got some accurate bits there it's a little bit difficult 
Um, let me know what, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this build. And if I missed anything, I probably did. I did put the little Coochie Copie, um, doll thingy that Louise has on top of her bed. Like, well, kind of the closest I could get to. But yeah, just try to make it as close as I could to the actual doll. I don't know. Um, I want to do that at Simpsons house, despite everyone having made their own version. But, you know, I just adore the Simpsons and I think it would be pretty awesome. I totally do Bart's Treehouse justice as well. Man, I need to watch Bob's Burgers and The Simpsons again. Treehouse of Horrors episodes were always the best. If you haven't already seen them, not gonna lie, can be a bit disturbing at times. But yeah, um, let me know if you want to see a rendition of The Simpsons home. I'd make it very alike the home, but I'd also give it a realistic twist. I don't want to just make it all block solid colours because that seems to be what everyone else has done. I'd like to make it a little bit more in depth and yeah. And uh, oh I was also, yeah, as a kid I was playing The Simpsons Hit and Run and that's why I was going to bring this up as well. Um, it's a really cool game, it's kind of like GTA but The Simpsons version and I have a, like a PC emulated version that I can play again so it makes me so much happy. So yeah, I kind of want to do that for YouTube. But I doubt anyone would want to watch it. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good day, by the way. I'm super anxious about renting and looking for the houses at the moment, so I'm a little stressed. But keen to relax and finish the mansion after recording this. And also spend some time doing some photoshopping. I'm actually having so much fun mucking around with that. But yeah, thank you all again for entering my giveaway. And thank you all for watching my video. It's been so much fun making these videos. And honestly, it's been such a great experience. I add a little shelf sized up here um, to act as like the second story in the cubby. Um, there was, it was such a cool cubby in the show. I can't really remember it, but it was really cool and it had multiple rooms, but it'd be a little bit impractical to put it on this build. So this is kind of the best I could do. I don't know if you'd be able to use those chairs at the top, but I thought I'd put some like, you know, games and teddy bears in there just for kids to actually be able to use it. Oh, well, you know. Um, I wish they had had tree houses again and bunk beds. Like, how haven't we been given bunk beds? I know we could cheat them into the game. Oh, well. But, yes, see, there's a family. There's old Bob with his burger. <laughs> I really do like how this ended up. I think it did, I think it did a pretty good job, mainly at the restaurant and the living room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that plain black modern toilet is, like, a really, like, funny reference to what happens in the show. If you watch it, you understand. And, uh, you know the pain that happens in that toilet. <laughs> but, yes. Here's the kitchen, and there's that adorable fridge with its decorations, Tina's bedroom, Louise's bedroom, and then... Oh, wait, did I say that wrong? <laughs> Tina's bedroom, Louise's, and Jean's. Jean's room is so pale and bland. I'm sorry. You just don't see it. Anyway, i got to get going. So remember to subscribe, like and comment, tick that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!